Stewart is going to the airport too. He works there. Mr. Stewart works in the control tower of one of the busiest airports in the world. Flight 113, LA Tower, wind south southwest 10, cleared to land, runway 25. Hi, Norm. How's it going today? Oh, Paul, no problems. Landed about a dozen in the last half hour. But I saved about a dozen for you. Oh, thanks a lot, buddy. What's the next inbound? Flight 738 on final. Okay. Behind the friendly joking lies a deep sense of responsibility for the lives of thousands of people. There are more than a thousand flights a day going in and out of this airport. It's the job of these men, who are called air traffic controllers, to direct and control the coming and going of these flights so that there will be no accidents or interference between aircraft. Uh, uh, flight 739, this is Los Angeles Tower. Cleared to land, runway 25, wind west 10. Mr. Stewart's job is to give incoming planes permission to land. It takes several men, each doing a specific job, to safely control the traffic at a busy airport. Flight 733, this is LA Ground Control, cleared to run with 25, number 5 for departure. Giving aircraft for taxi is the responsibility of a second controller. Flight 569er, cleared for takeoff, runway 25. A third air traffic controller is responsible for giving aircraft permission to take off. The terminals at the airport. A tunnel connects it with the building where the planes come to load and unload. Flight 755, this is Los Angeles Tower. Cleared to land, runway 25. Flight 755 has carried 103 passengers nonstop from Chicago to Los Angeles. The plane's next assignment is flight 766, non-stop to New York and leaving in just two hours to leave on its next flight on time. Accordion-like corridors called jetways enable the passengers to leave the plane quickly and comfortably regardless of the weather. As soon as the passengers have left the plane, work is begun to prepare it for its next flight. Jet fuel is pumped into the plane from underground tanks. Experienced mechanics carefully check the powerful jet engines. At the same time, in the airline dispatch office, the flight crew for flight 766 has reported to make out their flight plan. The pilot, Captain George Rogers, will select the route, altitude, and speed for the trip to New York. Listed by his co-pilot, First Officer Tom Dickinson, and by his flight engineer, Jim Peterson. The flight crew must have the latest weather information in order to make out their flight plan. This weather map is being transmitted by wire from a central weather bureau in Washington. Anything new on the fax machine? No, it's still good to New York. Good. These maps were transmitted earlier. Some show storm areas, others wind direction. Tailwinds all the way. Everything looks fine. Let's sign the clearance and let's go have a cup of coffee. Good. Flight 766 leaves at 5 o'clock, so dinner will be served on the plane. These dinners are being prepared now, assembly line style, in one of several flight kitchens at the airport. Some of the people who will eat these meals are arriving at the airport now. Do you know why they have come by helicopter? Not so many years ago, commercial airliners were small and didn't need very big airports. But the jetliners of today need lots of room and make lots of noise. For these two reasons, the modern jet airport is likely to be located far from the center of the city it serves. Far enough to make a trip by helicopter a useful time saver for passengers who can't spare the hour or so it may take to travel to the airport by taxi or car or bus. Los Angeles Airways Helicopter. 
flight 133. Harold White is a salesman. His office in New York has just phoned him to get there as quickly as possible. He wants to buy a ticket on flight 766 if there is still space available on it. This machine, and hundreds like it throughout the nation, is connected with a giant electronic computer which records each ticket sale and can indicate if there is space available on a particular flight. Yes, sir, I can confirm you on flight 766. Good, that's wonderful. Some of these passengers will also fly out on flight 766. This small airliner has arrived from a city 100 miles away. Many passengers at the airport transfer from short local flights like this to transcontinental jet flights. This is the Williamson family. Judy and Bob Williamson are flying with their parents on flight 766 to visit their grandparents in New York City. Mr. Williamson purchased his ticket several days ago at a ticket agency, so the Williamsons can check in at a counter for passengers who already have their tickets. One of the big jobs at a modern jet airport is handling the luggage for all the people who fly in and out. First of all, the luggage must be weighed to avoid overloading the plane. Then, each bag is tagged. IDL stands for Idlewild Airport in New York. This machine electronically directs the luggage to the proper flight and starts it on its way through the basement of the terminal building along an elaborate system of conveyors. Finally, the luggage is loaded into a container which fits right into the baggage compartment of a jet aircraft. Flight 766, non-stop for New York, will depart from boarding area 79. A fast runner might beat his luggage to the plane, but not the average family. At another part of the airport, aircraft especially designed for carrying freight come to be loaded and unloaded. When fast delivery is important, there's no better way to ship freight than by air. Many tons of airborne freight move through the airport's freight terminal every day. The passenger agent for boarding area 79 checks tickets to make sure that passengers are boarding the right plane. There are more than 60 boarding areas in this airport. Flight 766, non-stop for New York, is in the final boarding process at boarding area 79. Passengers holding space on this flight should be on board. Captain Rogers calls the tower and receives clearance to taxi to the end of the runway. A few minutes later, Flight 766 is in position for takeoff. Los Angeles Tower, this is Flight 766, ready for takeoff. Flight 766, this is Los Angeles Tower, cleared for takeoff, runway 25. As it grows darker, brilliant lights are turned on to help direct inbound flights to the runways. The Jet Age Airport, day and night, a complex, busy gateway to our major cities.